Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out Krampus, the 2015 version of Krampus. As you may have been able to tell, I watched Gremlins last week and this Christmas one I'm watching Krampus. So we're kind of going in a little bit different direction than last Christmas where I went to a lot of heartwarming nostalgic movies and I know Gremlins is still a nostalgic movie for most people but Krampus definitely isn't. I kind of am going a little bit of a scarier route for Christmas this year but I think I do have a heartwarming movie in mind for my last Christmas movie next week. Krampus is a movie that I've wanted to watch since it released. It released when I was 14 years old and that means I was too young to watch it so I never got around to watching it. But it's just one that's very interesting to me. It has a really good cast which is gonna be really fun. And I've just heard that it's a fun movie overall. I've always wanted to see some like goat evil Santa Claus man. I know Krampus I think is based on some legend. I don't know what culture legend Krampus is based off of. If I had to guess it would be some Scandinavian country. But but I'm just excited. Hopefully there's some brutal kills in this movie or just some good terrifying moments. I don't know what to expect, but I just want a fun and terrifying Christmas movie. And if you'd like to check out more of my reactions, you can head over to my Patreon of uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube, as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early. Thank you so much if you check it out. Now let's get back to the video. And before we get into this reaction, let me do the lighting. So let me turn on the light and decide what color it should be. Boop. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I went red for Gremlins, so usually I would go green but I think red is actually a better choice for this movie today. So I'm gonna go red lighting again, Christmas and Krampus equal red light. Okay, let's get into this movie. I hope you enjoy my reaction to Krampus. Oh, this is a legendary movie, of course it is. Beginning to, to look, look a lot like Christmas. Christmas. Oh, look at the store guys. Guys, slow down, slow down. Take a look in the fire. This must be like Black Friday or something. But the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be. <laughs> Dude, she's a legend. Do you think Krampus is going to be like a... It goes to people who are greedy at Christmas, to bad people at Christmas? I don't know. Soon the bells will start. This is such an interesting intro, the chaoticness, the sadness, the fakeness of it all is definitely not something you associate with Christmas, but it's probably the biggest thing about Christmas. Now, now at least. <laughs> That's so funny. Hey, I know that guy in the green coat. Michael... Do Doherty, Doherty, Doherty. I recognize that name, but I don't understand or know where it's from. Plot twist, this old woman is Krampus. Dragging on Christmas. He even told the first graders that Santa was just a cheap marketing ploy and then did sell Pepsi. <laughs> and was drop kicking him into the manger really the best way to handle this? Yeah, I would say yes. I said no traveling over Christmas. I still have to take a few calls. Hey, Roger, what's up? Wait! Seems like a very strange marriage. Christmas presents, like always? You know what, after what a you strange, pull, you can do- Strange? One of those two. Oh, I'm trying to say strained. Stri- <laughs> Santa Claus is even looking at the photograph. Is he asleep? Oh my god, you pervert man. Den wahren Geist von Weihnachten zu glauben. An den Geist des Gebens und des Opferns. Yeah, it's changed, it's changed. It's not that really anymore. Aber ich glaube auch an Nachtisch vor dem Abendessen. What if the grandma invites Krampus to the house? She's like, yeah, my family needs to learn a stinking lesson. Bring this giant goat man over. Like candy. Tonight we're making a Japanese snowflake tree or something. Wait, that sounds so good. Everything. What's happening? Is it like an earthquake? Oh, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Oh god, it's like the in-laws. Oh no. Thank you. It looks... wow. You're welcome. Come on, let it move it, move oh. it. We don't have to... Oh, it's this guy. How about your presidential fitness award, huh? It's a good story. <laughs> Max is going to talk. A letter to Santa. Video games? I love this kid. I love this kid. Would it kill you to shovel your walk? I could have broken a hip out there. Surprise! Oh, oh, it's her. I recognize this lady. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Lord Almighty. 
<laughs> Looks like Martha Stewart threw up in here. <laughs> I like all these new characters, and I can't wait for them to die. So, what's for dinner? <laughs> I actually really like how the dialogue flows in this movie. It feels very authentic. That's my boy! It sure is. I'm getting Howie Jr. into game shape. This guy plays the same character in every single thing he's in. And a big fat box of buckshot that I keep out in that truck. A chef- That's gonna be useful later in the movie. And who doesn't make a ham at Christmas? What are you now? A Jew? Who is this woman? It's delicious, honey. It's a little dry. Okay. Oh, oh, shut up. Mine's delicious. Slap his bald head. Night's bad. Care what happened to Santa? No, Stevie, what you happened know, to Santa? I don't like violence towards kids or anything. But if these kids get Krampus, I'm okay. So what kind of godforsaken concoction are you whipping up now? You know- It's- it, it's- you know what that is. For your sake, just- Stay the hell out of my kitchen. Yeah, I too would be mad. People have been complaining and that's it. Creeper? I don't know what you're talking about. You sure about that? Oh my god, these children, man. Someone needs to give them a punch. Wait, you're up first, Beth. I wish me and Beth could hang out like we used to. Oh wait, that's so adorable. I we'll have tons of friends. Oh no, really, Max? Someone needs to throw her hat in the fire and make her cry while it burns. It burns to ashes. So maybe you can lend them a hand the rest of the year, too. Now do you feel bad, you ugly pickle of a woman? Hey, Max! Yes, Max, yes! But forget it! I hate Christmas! I hate all of you! Yes. Oh, Max summons Krampus. Every year gets worse. Why do we have to put up with their crap just because we share DNA? That is such a valid point. Because that's what a family is, Max. No, family isn't, isn't made by your DNA. Family is made by the people you make friends with along the way. No! 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 Oh no. He has summoned the Krampus. I like the music, I got some chills. Wow, that visual. That is a massive snowman. That's actually a really good one. That's kind of creepy though. Someone should make a Frosty the Snowman horror movie. That would be sick. Mom! What, Max? There's a snowman in our yard. She's like, okay. Stop talking to us after Max's noodle incident. After his what? Max, please go get Omen. Ah, <laughs> Max's smile right there. Seriously, what are we gonna do? Merry Christmas! DHL still delivering. Yeah, postal service. I could see if anyone else has power on the way. She'll be fine. Someone go with her. Be careful, okay? Okay, back later. Love you. What if she never comes back? Oh, yeah. She says hot chocolate makes everything better. She knows something. She's kind of creepy a little bit. She's so nice. But old women in horror movies are always a little creepy. Holy cow. Oh my god, the sound design is really good. Whoa. Whoa. It's massive, dude. Land on the car, land on the car. You're lucky it didn't land on the car because it would have just crushed you. Wow, I love the design. I love the chains. Oh god. Oh, I jumped. Ew. Ew, what is this? Ew, it's like a gremlin. Wow, I, I didn't think the daughter was going to be the one who died first, but there we go. For Christmas, did you? <laughs> under the tree next to your ties and underwear some really great shot compositions in this movie though 
Like it's very well filmed. Cranky, bored, sick of the snow. Snacks. It's already dark out and Beth isn't back yet. You guys were just talking about her and you weren't concerned and then the kid says something and now you're concerned? Es ist zu gefährlich. Bitte wartet bis der Sturm vorüber ist. What's she saying? She says not to go. Hmm, she knows. Oh, the shaking hand. What do you know? Has Krampus haunted you before? Okay, who is going right now? And are they going to die? I'm gonna say everyone but one of them is going to die. Global warming my ass. I'll speak okay, I think Tom's gonna die then. Hello? Oh, I love the lighting, how the lighting is only the flashlights and the light on top of the truck and the he headlights of the Jeep. Oh, it's so cool. Bastard must have sailed clear through. It's more like the opposite. Yeah, something came in. The house. You packed guns on Christmas. He told you. He already told you this. Angel, this whole time? No, I thought you knew. No. Haven't you been over multiple Christmases? It would be on the tree every single Christmas. Probably just squirrels. In this weather. Yeah, and what type of giant squirrels do you got where you live? <laughs> ah, yeah, man. All right. Probably playing with their nuts. That's what she said. Back. Yeah, she's in here, she's dead, but she's not in here. She died under a DHL truck. Okay. What a waste of a gingerbread, man. Wow, so it comes down the chimney. Be an elk or a goat. Kind of goat walks on its hind legs. This one, buddy. She's still alive? There's no way. Oh, Tommy's dying. Tommy's dying. Oh. Oh, maybe he's not. Oh, God. Tommy? Jeez. Still of his legs? Yeah, he does. I thought maybe he'd bit off his legs. Oh. Oh. oh my god. They're fine. Are they? Mom? Honey, I'll be right back. I promise. This grandma needs to tell everyone what she's thinking. Nothing. That's just a scratch. Oh my god, it looks like something bit you. Nope. <laughs> nope. Come on, guys. I'm gonna teach you how to make peppermint schnapps. <laughs> oh. Oh, why don't you just tell everyone? Why don't you just tell everyone? The grandma's actually preparing for war. Board up all the doors and windows. And as soon as the weather breaks, we'll go find her. Yes, that's a good idea. Or Howard Christmas on a pig farm. Jesus was born in a barn. <laughs> True. I wonder if these snowmen are gonna come to life. I just wanna say thanks for, uh, you know, saving my ass back there. The more this movie goes on, the more I like this guy. And I just wanna say I'm sorry for thinking you're such a spineless dick all these years. <laughs> hey, Ned. Are we gonna die? Yes, son. Merry Christmas. How come? I'm not sure we won't talk about it. Her family died from the Krampus, I'm telling you. Can't imagine life without her. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, there are actually some nice little character moments in this movie. I care about most of these characters. At least turn off the iPad before you sleep. Oh, the fire, man, the fire isn't going. You invited the Krampus into your house.
Guys, wake up! Oh my god, what a shot. <laughs> the gingerbread man. There's no way this kid tries to eat the gingerbread man. Are you serious? You see this and you try and go for the gingerbread man. You don't wake up anyone else. You have to be the dumbest child of all time. <laughs> what the heck? I never expected this. Ah, uh, this ham sandwich of a man deserves this. No, she doesn't though. Wow, that lit so quickly. What was in there? Gasoline? Oh, he's gone. It's not really the end of the world with this child being gone. Come for us all? You could have told everyone this sooner, lady. Less cheerful. But I... Oh, I like the animation. Hunter. And magic. I really like the animation. This is cool. I tried to help them to believe. No way they did that. There's no way they did that. I didn't wish for a miracle. I wished for them to go away. Uh... I would come to regret. So Max is the key, right? You, St. Nicholas, was not coming this year. If the whole movie was animated like this, this would be sick. Niklas. It was Krampus. Ah, uh, look at that! And the Christmas spirit dies. So basically, kids, believe in Santa or else your whole family is going to die. Rabbit Easter Bunny comes spring. Howard, that's enough. Okay, well then you explain. You explain how your kid got shot up the chimney. How he back. Daddy, Howard, what are Daddy, you doing? Don't Tommy, oh. don't! Don't, Tommy! Daddy, whoa, don't. whoa! Howard, calm down, calm down. No. Honey. This is how I figure things out. Howard, you don't want to do this. <laughs> Howard's about to die hard and die cold. Howard. Oh, that looks like him. What are we gonna do now? We keep the fire hot. And you start to hope. You all hope. Stop, start believing, I guess. I don't know. Max has to make his letter to Santa. It's not what you do. It's what you believe. I want you giving up. I also doubt these girls have been very nice. They bullied Max at the start of the movie. When they took out we... What did you see up there? Talking gingerbread man. I'm not gonna open that if I were you. I would leave it alone. Can we talk with you and Howard for a minute? Can it wait? I just wanna get these rewrapped. I wanna open this present. Follows while I clear a path in front of us. And go where? The school. The mall. Double. Oh, the mall. Shepard's gotta protect his flock. <laughs> Howard would respect that. They actually sound like gremlins a little bit. Oh, days. I wonder if I ever get to a good look at Krampus. Do you think he's dead? I don't know. I think they're gonna take you next. Oh god, don't follow. If you ever hear a voice like that, don't follow it. Everyone's freaking out. Does that sound like Beth? No, it sounds like a robot. Have you told Max yet? I swear they got macaroni brains. Phoebe! Linda! Jordan! Listen. Oh, God. I think all this might be my fault. But I... It is, Max, it is. Rosie. Come here, girl. <laughs> what a wimp of a dog. All right. Wait here. I don't want Howard to die. I actually like him now. They're in the present. It's the gingerbread man! What the heck? 
Aww. Shoot the gingerbread house. Ew, what is this? Oh, come on. Oh, oh. Ew, that looks practical. Wait, that looks cool. Oh, ouch. We should have gone to my brothers. No. Run, 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 run. How do these gingerbread men go from cute to horrifying? No, no, no. Oh, these practical effects are crazy. What the heck? Oh man. Well done, roast those gingerbread men. Ew. Ew. Ew, that is so disgusting. It's an evil transformer. It's like a little Decepticon. Smother. <laughs> is it a dog? Oh my god, yes, this movie is a lot of fun. Oh my god, they're gonna hang her. This clown thing is kind of creepy. Punch that bear in the face. <laughs> the way the bear is just tossed, amazing. Hey, give me back my kids, you fudger! Yes! Oh no! She didn't get it. She didn't get it. Oh, thanks, honey. Okay, let's shoot it. Okay. Yeah. What happened up here? They got Jordan. Who? This movie went from zero to nuts to butts bonkers. They're out. Linda, what are we dealing with? What'd you see up there? You don't want to know, sweetheart. A giant snake clown. Rosie. Oh. <laughs> Shoot it in the head. Shoot it! No, not Howard. Of the bear now as well. Yes. Oh my god, she's great. Oh, that's epic. With pleasure. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This movie is absolutely nuts. See you in hell. Why is she so cool? Why are the sound effects so funny? I wanna see him. I wanna see him. Oh my god! Mom, come on, we're leaving. Wow, you can't even light a fire anymore. No, it's too late. Yeah, put your head up. Are you ready? No, he's gonna be right outside. She's not leaving. She's gonna stay, sacrifice herself to the Krampus. Oh my God! Oh my God! That is not, there's a giant hole in your living room. If you wanted to find her, you could just go through that hole. Window. Yes, thank you. Uh, let me see him. Oh my god, this is so epic. This is so cool. The music is awesome. Wow. Is 
she die? I assume she died. The Krampus looks really cool. I love how it's a human face, but like a dead human face almost. Like almost like Santa Claus's face because Shadow of the Santa Claus. And then the horns on top. It's really cool looking. Like half goat, half human. Oh jeez. You have to go. You have to go. I need you to go. No. Oh. Leave. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. God. How many how many bullets is this gun hold? Oh there we go. It's out. Oh. Dude, the music is so dramatic. It's so fun. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> these two left. It's not starting. It's not starting. I love the uh, Silent Night sad version over their deaths. That was cool. Don't worry, Max. I also don't know how to drive a stick. <laughs> Will it be gone now that Max is the only one left? That's what happened to the grandma. Baby! Whoa! Yeah, yeah, okay. It's gonna leave him alone. Insult to injury, wrapping it in the Santa letter. It dies. I'm gonna say, there's no way the movie just ends right there. What is happening now? Asshole! Yes, Max. No one ever calls me that around here. That's mean. To work. Why didn't he just do this earlier? Crab <laughs> is like, whatever, no, I'm not gonna do it. You can join them in hell if you'd like. I know you could fix this. Give them back. Take me instead. Really? And this is the true purpose of Christmas is giving and caring for others and stuff. I was just like, idiot kid crying. What a loser. No! Save no! No! There's no way. I'm so glad the movie did this. I'm so glad the movie did this. End, end, end. No, end. Please be dead. Please be in hell. Oh my god. I don't want everyone to be alive. No! The movie wimped out. The movie wimped out. I hope it hasn't there though. I hope it hasn't wimped out yet. We still have time. This dog didn't keep you guys up. She likes to bark at night. She sure does. <laughs> it's too Vaseline. -y. Look how Vaseline it is. It's not real. What's up, buddy? You okay? Yeah, I just... Does no one actually remember anything? I like this song. I want wow. <laughs> What's this song about? It's, it's nothing. I watched all you guys die recently. Merry Christmas, son. No, this present is gonna be something. The orb or something. <laughs> Ha 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 the movie I don't think the movie whipped out I think they're all dead. That's my interpretation is they're all dead. Yes! Yes, he's in a snow globe! I never expected that, but yes! Yes, I'm so glad. 
you have no idea how glad I am that the movie didn't wimp out. I did it two two times, I think, where it ended, and then there was another ending, and then there was another ending, and every single ending, I was like, it's going to wimp out. It's going to not kill everyone, but everyone is dead, but not dead, but everyone is like basically dead. They're trapped in the snow globe. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy the movie ended like this. I'm so happy the movie ended like this, because if it hadn't ended like this, if it had ended any other way, well, with them being alive, it would have been so cheesy. And that was my reaction to Krampus, the 2015 horror fantasy starring Adam Scott, Tony Collette, Stephanie Levy, Owen, David Kochner, Maverick Flack, Alison Tolman, and Lolo Owen, as well as a few other people who I'm just not going to name because they're not showing up here. Before we get into this review, I'd just like to say that I'm sorry if my voice sounded weird in this reaction or slash if my nose is running like, like, like just then or if my voice is going right now it's just a uh, final season at the moment so everything is very exhausting i am very very tired very just boom you know boom that's how i feel right now just so incredibly exhausted but i wanted to watch this movie because i was hoping that this movie would kind of just be a really fun just be a really fun time maybe give me a few scares give me a few laughs and just make me forget about finals for an hour and a half and that is exactly what this movie did this movie was a lot of fun it was crazy it was funny the characters were actually really good they were very well written the dialogue in this movie was actually written fairly well the camera work in this movie was nice the cinematography was great there were some really cool practical effects i don't know if krampus was practical if he was cgi but i could tell that a lot of the other creatures were practical besides the gingerbread men the sound design was really fun and just overall Overall, this was just a really fun horror Christmas movie. I don't think it was too scary, but I don't think it kind of lost the tension and the stuff, the tension and suspense because of the comedy. I think it balanced it pretty well. I only got really scared a few times, but I don't really think that matters because I was definitely on the edge of my seat a few times as well. Not scared, but in suspense, in a, in a state of tension. And I really liked this movie overall. I thought it was just a fun movie, some great music, some great performances, and some really cool creature designs and just all around just feel of the movie. Also, before I forget, I would love to talk about the ending of this movie. I am so glad the movie didn't wimp out. The movie did a Return of the King. If anyone has seen Lord of the Rings 3, Lord of the Rings Return of the King, then you know what I mean by the movie did a Return of the King. The movie had a few different endings where the movie could have ended after each one, but then it kept going. It felt like it had three different endings. The first one is when the girl gets taken from the snowplow, the very last girl, and Max is all alone. He looks up to the sky and there's the voiceover, the grandma's voiceover, and then it fades to black. I think that would have been a really cool ending, although there would have been a lot of loose ends. What happens to Max? What's this? What's that? So it wouldn't have been the best ending, but it would have been a cool ending. I thought maybe it was going to end there. Then Krampus comes. He Max goes over to Krampus. There's all this whole thing. Hell kind of comes up from the thing in the volcano. And at first, and throughout almost the entire sequence, you think that the movie is going to do like a reverse uno card on you where max is going to say something really cheesy about how christmas has affected him and stuff and how he just wants christmas to go back to normal and how family means so much to him and he's going to give his life which is the purpose of christmas which is giving and caring for others you think he's going to say something super cheesy like that and then Krampus is just going to go okay you know what i see that and it happens like three times where max will say something and Krampus will turn and it seems like something's going to change and then it gets worse and then it happens again and then things get worse. And then finally with the tear, Max cries. He says something and Max cries. And I was like, this is it. This is the one that Krampus is going to be like, oh, I understand. And then I thought the family was going to start shooting out of the hole in the ground. And then Krampus takes the tear, right? And you're like, okay, here comes the cheesy part of the movie. Like Christmas, here's the Christmas message, the Christmas theme. You have to have these in Christmas movies. I understand, I guess, but I wish this movie didn't do this. I wish it ended on a scarier note or on a sadder note. And then they start laughing at Max. And that moment was so good. I was like, yes, the movie isn't wimping out. The movie is going to kill this girl. And then Max is going to be all alone. And then Krampus throws Flippin' Max in the, in the pit as well. And I was like, whoa, this is crazy. And then Max wakes up. And this is the third ending. And I'm like, whoa. 
there's another ending and he's in his room and for a second for actually for a bit for probably about a minute I thought that the movie had wimped out again I thought that Krampus had actually thrown him in and it had reset everything but then I realized that everything in that moment was very Vaseline you know when everything is like very hazy or like a little hazy you know when someone falls in love with someone on screen and then the girl for example will turn around and her hair will flick back and the screens all hazy and stuff like that and the guys in love that's what it looked like on every single shot the lights were very overexposed the camera lens was very Vaseline and I I really liked how those simple filmmaking techniques made you wonder if this was real or not. Obviously, you're going to be wondering that itself, but it's implying that this is not real and it's letting you figure it out before Max figures it out. And then finally, so I was pretty mad then, but then I realized that no, I think he actually is in hell or he's in a or like he's dead or something like that. And then when they reveal the Krampus orb and they zoom out and he's in a snow globe in Krampus's house with all of these other snow globes, it was just a glorious moment. I'm so glad the movie didn't wimp out because I'm sure there was probably pressure at some point by the studio to have everyone live because it's a Christmas movie and I thought that it was going to be a very tacked on cheesy ending but it turned out to be really fun and that kind of incorporates the whole movie in just the ending this movie as a whole was just really really fun and there was a lot of effort put into it a lot more effort at least than I thought was going to go into a flippin horror Christmas movie okay I'm going to talk about the reviews really quick then I'm going to get into the score which was actually really Really good I enjoyed the score quite a bit and then I'm just gonna get into the things that I like the, the practical effects uh, the cinematography and stuff the dialogue just things like that whatever I remember when I get to that part of the review so 6.2 out of 10 on IMDb and 66% on Rotten Tomatoes so it seems like critics and audiences are very aligned in this movie although I think people are maybe being a little too harsh on this movie I don't really know why the reviews would be so low I guess it is a horror movie and horror movies tend to have lower reviews and it also is a Christmas movie and I feel like overall all Christmas movies also have lower reviews maybe because people are harder on Christmas movies because the good Christmas movies really stick with you but yeah I don't know I don't really know why you would dislike this movie a lot I really like the ending I really like the effects the music I liked how crazy it got I think maybe it can get a little overwhelming at time and I think the movie even loses its way a little bit when it gets super crazy and the story kind of just takes a backseat and it's just they're just throwing things at you and it's just like a very overwhelming experience so you don't really register anything but at the same time like I didn't really mind that because of how fun it was and how fun it was making it like the movie was not taking itself seriously Seriously, and that's what I really liked and you could tell from the beginning that it wasn't really taking itself seriously with the characters but also when someone would like get shot up a chimney for instance there would be like a whoop sound effect and so you knew that even though these kills could be brutal and are definitely a little brutal and the monsters are super creepy the movie isn't really taking itself seriously so you just have to sit back and have a lot of fun with the craziness on screen and that's what I did and I feel like maybe some people aren't doing that but maybe you have a really good reason for disliking this movie so please let me know the music in this movie was really good it was very dramatic at times it was very quiet and mysterious and scary and spooky at times I really like just like every Christmas movie should the incorporation of Christmas songs and Christmas songs can actually be super scary like Silent Night, Carol of the Bells, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. All of these songs can be played in a certain way that make them really creepy, especially Silent Night. It has that like music box kind of sound and if you play it kind of like that, play it very slow, play it in a music boxy way, it's a really creepy song and I like the inclusion of bells in the score as well, but when things were getting hectic, when things were getting larger than life on screen, the music was accompanying it like that as well. The music at the end of the movie was so big and loud and dramatic. You'd think you would be watching like a Mission Impossible movie, but but no, you're just watching a horror Christmas movie that's called Krampus. But I liked that the music, just like the movie, just was having fun because the music was getting so over dramatic for these dramatic moments. The on screen, visually, everything was so over dramatic at times, and I think it just accumulated to make a really fun experience. The practical effects in this movie as well were out of this world at times. The clown snake thing looked incredible, and it looked, I don't know, it just, you could tell that it was a practical, but it also looked very real at times and it was definitely the scariest one to me. There was the doll angel thing as well, which looked really, really cool. And then the bear, I think the bear at times was digital. I think that was CGI at times, but I think sometimes as well, it was practical, but definitely the clown and the 
Angel were practical and they looked fantastic. Krampus, I don't know if he was practical. I don't know if it was CGI. I don't know if it was a mix of both, but Krampus looked so cool in this movie. I loved that it was like a half man, half goat, and it was like the face of Santa Claus, but like really dead eyes and a really open mouth, like a really disturbing looking face, but then the horns coming out and the big feet and the really long fingers. I just really liked how large Krampus was. And I liked that even though at the start of the movie, you see Krampus jumping from building to building like he's Usain Bolt. For the majority of the movie, he walks insanely slow and it's really believable because he's such a big being and the way that he walks, the sound design being as loud as it is with every step, it's like a giant thud, like boom, boom. And just the big like weight of his body and seeing like how he moves, he kind of like shifts his body this way and this way. It was just really, really good, either practical or digital work. I think it was mostly practical work, I'll be honest with you. It didn't really look that digital to me. But yeah, it was insane practical work and I loved the slowness because it really just emphasized how almost heavy and large this being was. This movie also kind of reminded me of The Mist a little bit with people being trapped in a confined space, not really being able to get out of it because if they leave, then they're probably going to die. And then in the end, everyone dying. It was just kind of like, oh, spoilers for The Mist, by the way. I'm sorry about that. Should put like a spoiler warning. I hope I remember. I hope editing Oliver remembers. And if he doesn't, that is very unfortunate. But yeah, it definitely reminded me of The Mist in that aspect, which was awesome because I really like The Mist. I also thought the camera work was really great in this movie. When things were getting chaotic, the camera was very shaky, but it wasn't shaky to the point of you not being able to understand what's happening. It was shaky and it was chaotic and it fit what was happening on screen, but you could still see what was happening on screen. And I think it really, really worked. There are also really nice moments of camera tracking a character and then following another character and following another character. And it's just very dynamic camera work. And then also some really nice visuals as well. The cinematography in this movie was surprisingly amazing. Some really nicely framed shots. Like for example, when the camera's in the middle of the dining table and then you got Tom and Sarah like here and here sitting down in the candle in the middle and the camera is just pushing in slowly like some great stuff whenever they're outside in the blizzard it looked fantastic I just thought the cinematography was a highlight of this movie for some reason it was a very strange thing like someone went so ham on the cinematography especially in the blizzard scenes but they did such a good job I also thought the dialogue was really good in this movie as well it was very believable a lot of characters had things to say and a lot of dialogue overlapped each other characters would say something and then a character would walk in and say something and a character would walk in and say something the dialogue was very chaotic just kind of like the last half of this movie but it made sense this family is a very dysfunctional family and the dialogue made it seem like that and it was very believable because of all the overlapping stuff because of all the people walking in and out of scene just adding little nitpicks or something here there here there and i don't know it was just really nice dialogue to listen to because it felt like an actual family at the start bickering and then obviously as the movie went on it became more movie dialogue dialogue but at least in the first half when the family is actually all there together and especially before Krampus even comes the dialogue is written really well. Okay I'm not going to talk about anyone because I don't think anyone really stood out to me in the cast. I thought Tony Collette did a really good job as Sarah and I thought her emotions was awesome and I thought it was a surprise but I thought that David Kochner did a really good job as well. He's always plays the same type of character in every single thing he's in unless I've I haven't, I obviously haven't seen all of his work, so maybe he doesn't, but the majority of the work, he plays the exact same type of character. And in this movie, he started out playing the exact same type of character. And then I really liked what the movie did and it switched it around. And the movie managed to make every single character at least semi-likable and his was the biggest turnaround. Howard became this really arrogant man who I hated so much. And by the end of the movie, by the time that he gets shot away, by the time he dies, I really liked him. And so I really like what they did with this character because it would have been easy to make him the stubborn guy who just no one likes, the, just like the dickhead of the family and stuff. And he just stays like that and then he dies first or something because he can't get past his own stubbornness. But they really made him change. He had a really nice character arc. The respect he had for Tom grew. The love that he had for his family, you could start to see it shine the farther along the movie went. It was just really nice. And I thought definitely he was the standout character by far. And so yeah, that is my reaction and review to the 2015 movie Krampus. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. Next Christmas movie is probably, I don't think it's a horror movie. I forget what it is right now, but I think it's more of a heartwarming, like regular Christmas movie, two horror movies in a row for Christmas. I think we need something to lighten up the batch a little bit. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.